Hello everyone, my name is Yuri Mikhailevich and in this video I'm going to demonstrate our clip, the command line photo search tool I created. The usage of the tool is as simple as this. You have to open your terminal, navigate to the dir containing the images that you want to search, nested dirs are also supported. Type our clip your query and hit enter. When you run our clip for the first time in a particular directory, it's going to extract features from the photos. And this takes time. How long it takes depends on your CPU and the number of photos you are going to search through. It took about a day to process 73,000 of my photos on my NES that runs an oldish Intel Celeron J3455 CPU. Our clip works by utilizing the incredible image and language understanding capabilities of OpenAI's neural network clip. Techniques allowing you to search images by their content are not necessarily new, but they usually only allow you to search using a set of predefined keywords and sometimes their synonyms. OpenAI's clip takes computer image understanding to a whole new level, allowing us to search for photos using any text query we can think of. In essence, our clip is a simple interface to the clip model. Using the clip model, our clip first extracts features from pictures, next it extracts the same kind of features from your text query, and finally it looks for matches. These are all of the images that I prepared for the demo. The results look good, however, what if we want to preview them? We can pass our clip's output to an image viewer. This is easier if the output doesn't include the score, and there is a parameter that you can pass to our clip to achieve that. Add F to our clip, and it will output only the file paths. Then you can pass our clip's output to the image viewer. I'm going to use FEH because of its convenient thumbnail mode. As you can see, Clip did a great job at picking cat images. Please, remember that photo of a kitten peeking from behind the corner. I'll let you know what for later. Our Clip checks for new images every time we run it. We can disable this behavior and speed the execution up a bit by passing the parameter N to our Clip. By default, our Clip outputs top 10 matches and their scores, but, moving forward, I'm going to limit its output to top 5 matches, because we have only 100 images and do not expect meaningful results below the top 5. Where there are cats, there are dogs. Let's look for dogs in our test set. Pretty good, huh? Look at this cutest Shiba Inu. Please remember it and that funny yawning dog for later. Let's query for snow next. The results are perfect. Let's also remember that woman jumping in the mountains. Now I wonder if it can understand what a portrait is. The results are somewhat relevant, but they are not what I had in mind. I was looking for portraits of people. Let's specify this in the query. This is much better, wouldn't you agree? Let's make it harder by asking for pictures featuring leading lines. How cool is this? The first two pictures feature distinct leading lines. And before we move to the next part of the demo, let's ask Clip what love is. I always wanted to ask this question to a robot. Hugging, bunnies, baby elephants, the cutest Shiba Inu I saw, and some flowers. I love that definition of love. I recall the pictures I asked you to remember. In the next and the last part of the demo, we are going to look them up via a text query. Now I am interested in the top result, so I am going to change the R clip parameter accordingly and disable fax thumbnail mode. First, let's check if it understands dog breeds and is able to find the picture of a Shiba Inu. Here it is, amazing! Then let's find the picture of the yawning dog. A 
and we have a perfect match. Now let's make it more complex and search for a picture of the woman jumping in the mountains. Awesome! This is very impressive to me. And for the last test, let's level up the complexity even more and ask it to find a kitten peeking from behind a corner. This is incredible! If you are not impressed by now, let me know in the comments what will it take to impress you. That's it, thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed exploring OpenAI's clip with me. Check out the video description for the links to OpenAI's blog post about clip and to our clip installation guide. See ya!